Hi again. I'm back. Uh, my calorie balance is terrible. There we go. I'm, I, hopefully you were just able to watch the video on getting the tire off and the review of what we found once the tire come off with these broken, loose, and uh, come detached spokes throughout here. And I did get my spokes in the mail. I'm still kind of trying to figure out which size goes on what side again, because I kind of forget. But um, it's okay. Pretty sure that the side with the cassette on it, I'm not sure if this is technically a cassette, but I think it is. Um, I'm pretty sure that that side is the side with the shorter um, lines. My, my neighbor's child is crying. If you are hearing that, that is that is not me shirking a responsibility. They're, they're with their kid. It's just a very crying kid. Um, so what we're going to do is tilt this, if I can get it to cooperate. It was cooperating earlier. And um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do this. I wanted to try specifically one of them here. So the idea is I want to mark where it's coming from and where it's going to and replace that one and then just figure it out as we go. So I was just able to loosen that right up. It comes out the top. But the reason it just comes right out the top is because the um, holding point is broken on this. So then this is the longer side. Oh dear. Oh dear, this isn't open yet. My bad. Oh dear, oh dear. Hold on a second. Much better. All right, so this is actually a slightly larger gauge of wire than what I just took out. And it's coming from, mm, from this point, uh, which does have a tiny bit of damages. I'm going to see if I can aim it where it has a clear path, because if we put it right in the V of the other one, we're going to have issues. This is going to be an adventure, because getting these to clear such that they'll go where they need to go is just going to be interesting overall. Let's try it this way. There we go. A little bit better. And then, ugh, it's going to just scratch things because I don't know what else to do about it. Ugh. Again, first time doing a spoke replacement is is the adventure that you are and I are on together. That might be too short, even though it was professionally measured, because it just barely reaches. Oh dear, all that waiting and it might be the wrong thing. Well, let's try it. Because the nipples are also, so this is a spoke nipple. They're also kind of long, so it might work out. And then I'm gonna get my trusty bell multi tool <laughs> and so to put it in in the first place we just need a flathead screwdriver there and adjusting it in the end is going to come from a one of these notches at the end like this uh, it fits now that it would appear these might be too this might be a really large spoke and I might need to do that differently but the idea is that these are the uh, spoke grabbers <laughs> so flathead screwdriver is actually on this second all right box right in place and I'm just gonna lower it down in there. Whew. So this is gonna be difficult because there's there's a chamber in between the two that um, 
I need to not just lose the nipple into, as happened with the ones that uh, fell out with the breakages and, and up. Oh, see, it's in there. Let's see if we can get it back out. It's just rolling around inside. We'll just roll it around until it comes out again, I guess. I don't know. Luckily, I have more spoke nipples than I need. I have more spokes than I need. But that doesn't mean I really want to just do this over and over and over again. This might be something I need to get tweezers for. If this next one goes in the same way. Gonna do the Oh, gone again. Yep. Something I don't have out here with me is tweezers, but it's definitely something I need for this task. Holy cow. Another thing I could do. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually. So the threaded area goes the whole way through. Let's try this. It looks like the threaded goes the whole. Yeah. So we're going to use a spoke to get this lined up correct. Ah, that's perfect. And then you go backwards until it clicks, otherwise you're going to be cross-threading your, your um, metal and kind of destroying things. That's, nobody wants to be destroying things. Gonna have to shake this around until those two spoke nipples I lost come out, but this is, this is a really good start. And with a slightly better fitted screwdriver, because this is actually just difficult to use. It's good for the road, but I... With a slightly better fitted screwdriver, I think I'll actually go through and tighten these up from the outside so that I don't have to spend as much time with a spoke nipple tool, because those are kind of awkward. <laughs> I will say they're kind of awkward. So what I'm doing is, after I got the other spoke out of there, I'm tightening that, this one right here, I'm tightening this one down. See how bright that is compared to its neighbor. It's still sticking up quite a bit. So actually this, this length might be perfect. We'll see. We'll find out. And at the moment, we're still just tightening it down. I do have a ratcheting screwdriver. I will get that for the continuation of this project because, yeah, there's no way I want to sit here fidgeting with a, with a multi-tool screwdriver throughout the whole process. That's just silly. Okay, you don't have to worry about the spoke rotating during tightening it for this particular spoke, and the reason why is because of the shape. It's hooked through at the bottom, and so obviously that's not going to rotate while you're working on it. But I am going to have to worry about shaking these darn lost spoke nipples out of the double wall. Not all bikes have double rims like this. This is a um, something that I specifically was shopping for in the low-end bicycle shopping experience that I had because I wanted to have a stronger rim for being a heavier rider and for um, living in pothole land. <laughs> Pittsburgh has so many potholes, it's crazy. So that's one replaced broken spoke, and it is looking really good there. So I'm going to continue to go around these and um, 
since this video isn't too long yet, I can put you on pause. I am going to go get a better screwdriver because this is going to drive me crazy if I don't. And then we can maybe do one more. We'll see. So, hang on. Okie doke. Uh, let's tighten this up the rest of the way with a... Since I'm home, I don't have to rely... Oops, it's all the way down here. I don't have to rely on a multi-tool, so I am not going to... This, this is an odd, um, the thing that's odd here is that it's at a bit of an angle. Oh, look at that just... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go through and tighten the ones that aren't broken. And replace the ones that are. But um, you don't have to take the tire off to tighten them if you have spoke keys. And again, this little notch here on the Bell Multi-Tool that you can get at Kmart, well, does Kmart even still exist anymore? At any big shop store or wherever. Uh, I got this probably 12 years ago there crappy but they're rugged you know like the little snap together bits that hold them all in one unit that's not going to last but the tool itself is going to maintain its usefulness for a really long time even if you have to just kind of keep an eye on all four parts because the little tire paddles are on the side and then there's this several allens and a phillips head in the immediately previous video, I, sh I showed what I keep in my on-the-road toolkit, and it is a pretty comprehensive little thing that fits in uh, this bag, all told. So maybe navigate back and check that out. I will see if I can figure out how to do a card. I have no idea if I'm going to figure that out successfully or not, though. So we'll see making hand gestures so if I am able to find a time point it'll be easier so that's how you would do it from the outside it's just a matter of figuring out which way lefty loosey and righty tighty is um, but once the wheel and the um, spoke guard are detached then you're free and clear these are all really really loose so definitely need to go through all of these and tighten them down like crazy to avoid this happening again. All right, let's see. We got a trouble here in that the ricochet action of two of these coming loose has meant that there are no spokes in this entire range. And so I'm going to have to spend some time figuring out the pattern of this one goes here, that one goes here, um, and etc. So this one should be attached here, except it's not. And as we experienced before, dropping these nipples down without the appropriate assistance means they just get lost in that interior chamber again. So, yeah, that's just how it's going to be. So it appears that it is for two next to each other, they cross, skips one, the far one's going to come here, the near one's going to go, um, yeah, there. So I've got a pattern figured out, and so for the full replacement ones, that's definitely a good thing. I went ahead and got 10 gauge instead of 12 because I was so worried. I got some of each. This is 130 in 10 gauge and this is 132 in 12 gauge 12 gauge is what it came with 10 gauge is marketed as electric bicycle spokes but only comes in so many sizes and so that's um that's how i went with that hmm. 
It doesn't appear that any of the short ones are fully broken. It actually appears that I was able to keep all of my short ones. So I might not even need any of these. Just, um, just the spoke nipple. Still good to have them since it took two months for them to arrive in the mail. I don't, I don't mind having the option to repair it again if needed. That's not, not sad about that. Yeah. All right, well, that is an overview of getting started with uh, replacing spokes and tightening down spokes with the tire off. Uh, once I get the tire ready to put back on and am replacing the last couple spokes and have a little bit more input, I'll do one more video to wrap it up. But for now, um, we're going to have a couple of little pop-ups here probably the most recent video or the next one, depending on what I decide, and um, the playlist for this bicycle. This is the Cyclomatic CX2 folding electric bicycle with broken spokes due to rider weight and potholes loosening the spokes such that they came detached while riding. Uh, can be avoided by tightening spokes we will also look at how to true the wheel so that we don't throw the wheel out of alignment while replacing the spokes at the end. So stay tuned, um, follow along for the playlist, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.